tree. Wake up, Cricket. Uh, lazy bum, it's way past sunrise. You need to get up. Get up. What am I, your mother? Ugh. Cricket, you're still in bed? That's not like you. Hurry and get dressed. M why are you asking me? You need to get moving. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to get your uniform. You can look around for it by using the mouse. Pressing the escape key or holding down the alt key makes you should be ready for morning training, Cricket. Are you still asleep? Come on, rise and shine. I think your uniform is the one on the dresser. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to go get it. Remember, you can hold the alt key to use... Cricket, hello? You're still not awake? Well, if you missed some of what I said, click J to open your quest journal. The sun's up and so am I. We should spar again today, Cricket. I almost had you yesterday. Well, one of these days I'm gonna win. No one can stop Gilhong. You overslept, Cricket. I won't have any students slacking on my watch. Master has called a meeting outside his quarters. Lu Song's off somewhere, and I want you and Jin Yong to find him. The meeting starts in a few minutes, so hurry. Yes, I was about to head down. Oh, a little cricket is up early today. Hmm? What's the matter? Over there! <laughs> Still half asleep, huh? <laughs> She was there! I swear! Bird that greets the rising sun is the first to eat its fill. It means those who train hard will be rewarded. Your day will come, Cricket. I'm hopeful that mine will come soon. Is here? Good. Gather around me then. Closer, please. <coughs> I have something important to tell you, and <coughs> my voice is not what it once was. Long ago, the Hong Moon School was known throughout the earthen realm. People from around the world wanted to learn our techniques, the Hong Moon arts. I am unable to teach as many students as I once did. Only a select few have I chosen to lead down the path of Hong Moon. Our techniques are powerful, and only the compassionate and the honorable should wield them. To walk the path of Hong Moon and learn its secrets, you must act selflessly. Help those in need, uphold justice, and live with integrity. That is the path of Hong Moon. I do not take the Hong Moon arts lightly. I will only impart the martial tome to those who are ready to follow the path. So keep training, and keep treating each other well. You will all learn in time. Now, where was I? <coughs> ah, yes. Cricket, come with me, please. I am entrusting this book to you. It may not seem to be of much help now, but as you gain a new level of understanding, this tome will show you new skills and techniques. Let it serve as a guide as you continue along your path.
Now that you have this book to study, you are ready to train in the Hong Moon arts. I usually give my students more personal attention, but I, I am not well. Young Muck is an excellent teacher. Take the book to him at the dual hall. <coughs> Listen well and practice hard. I know you'll make me proud, Cricket. Press the F key to speak with me. Well, why did Master want to see you? He did? The martial tone is only granted to students ready for more training. The book Master gave him contains all the basic Hong Moon fighting skills. You are a full member of the Hong Moon School. Which means that from this moment forth, you are a former disciple of our clan. Congratulations. I will personally oversee your training in the martial arts. Here, you'll need a training weapon. Go ahead and equip it. Let us begin. Your opponent must be targeted and within range for your skills to be effective. Even the most powerful skill is worthless if it cannot reach the target. Have you been summoned to the Cricket Grounds? You've done well today, Cricket. We will continue training, but you are certainly a capable student. Your next trial will prove more challenging. All Hong Moon disciples must enter the Proving Grounds. The test represents the fear we all carry inside ourselves. If you are to be a true member of the Hong Moon, you must conquer that fear. I will take you to the cavern, but you must enter alone. Did I scare you, Cricket? I was only testing you. Master Hong must have faith in you. Take time to reflect and come back when you're ready. It's yourself you should worry about. I'll kill you! Here I stand, old man. Yura, Kobong!
Yusung. You betrayed us. <coughs> you disappoint me, Master. Is this the true power of Hong Moon? Maybe the poison I put in your daily medicine wasn't even necessary. Poison in my medicine? But why? To get the Hong Moon secret techniques. Though, with the school's performance today, I wonder why I ever bothered. Feeling weak, Master? I should have just taken the secret scrolls from you. <laughs> Stand aside. Hmm? The Twilight's Edge. Should I go and finish the job? Don't bother. No one survives the Black Rose.
Wake up. Please. You are our last hope. Please stop her. Stop Jin Soyeon. You're awake. Are you all right? Goodness, I can't imagine what you've gone through. I'm Nam So Yu. I should tell Papa you're awake. You've never heard of Captain Dochen? Really? He's from the Hong Moon School, like you. He left Heaven's Reach a long time ago, but he's a legend here. He's captain of the Bamboo Guard, off battling the Black Ram. Papa is always fighting. I'm scared he won't make it back one day. The Black Ram are already on the beach. I'm so worried. If only we had more warriors. Goodness, this could be the end. Really? Thank you, but be careful. Please, everyone's right outside. Don't forget your weapon. Hey, the truth, huh? Congratulations. But I don't have time for nonsense. Be useful and get these ammo boxes to gun one before we're all dead. What? You're waiting for a written invitation? Go! We need to save Bamboo Village from those filthy marauders! You're the Hong Moon student, right? Like the captain? Nice. You look pretty strong for someone who is. If you're half as good as the captain, then you'll be a big help. Captain Dochen's the one who fished you out of the water. Run over and show him your gratitude. You can't miss him. He's the one-man army cleaning up the beach. That's him. I can tell you're itching for a fight. He's a great warrior, but I'm sure he'd like some help. I love your attitude. Just head to the coast and lend a hand. Sunjun and Yuhan left a few minutes ago. They'll help you. you came when you did. Wak Chill's a good kid. He'll owe you his life. Well, you're the one Dochen rescued. It's amazing you're still on your feet. I've never seen anything like your wound. Dochen called it the mark of the Black Rose. He was worried you'd never wake. Seeing you up now is incredible. You should take a rest and then talk with him. The Black Ram have retreated for now, so I'll attend to the injured. The Black Ram come back, though, like rats when you leave the table. Return to the feeding house where you woke up. I will send Dojin your way, and we'll work out our counterattack. I am glad to see your strength has returned. You were unconscious for many days, and I feared the worst. But those from the Hong Moon School are a hardy lot. I should know. I was one of Master Hong's students long ago. My name is Dojin, and I lead the Bamboo Guard here in the village. A few nights ago, I saw a firestorm raging high on Heaven's Reach. Fearing the worst, I sailed out to help, but arrived only too late. I... I saw the destruction. Bodies floating in the sea. What has happened to the Hong Moon School? Jin Sai, perhaps Master Hong mentioned that name once or twice. What would drive this woman to such depravity? And how did she infiltrate the school? By the heavens! Lucy! I only met him once. Something unsettling clung to him. It was unmistakable. Tell me. Did Master Hong escape the destruction? Hmm, this news weighs heavily on me, warrior. But my immediate concern must be the safety of the village. The Black Ram marauders who attacked Bamboo Village must be stopped for good. Perhaps I can gather intelligence about this Jinsen. But in the meantime, can I ask you to stay here and help defend the village? I'm glad. 
I sense you are one with great potential. John is the term used within the world of warriors for such a person. Go forth and honor the Hong Moon Way, John. Oh, hi. Nice to see you again. Look, thanks for helping out earlier. I know I was rude when we met. Sorry about that. You seem all right. The captain trusts you, and that's good enough for me. I'd be honored to fight by your side. You can't say the same for little master, wherever he is. Sorry, I mean Doden. He's the captain's son and a hero in his own mind. He's a fun kid, but about as reliable as a grass sword. It seems that every time the Black Ram attacks, Doden goes missing. It could be a coincidence, but the Black Ram always seem to know when our munitions are low. I like that you seem quiet and private. Can you keep a secret? I know he's the captain's son, but the way he's been acting is suspicious, right? Could Doden be a spy? Don't tell anyone. But I was following him earlier. He's off his post and heading towards the coast. He and his crony duck around like they were afraid of being spotted. Then I saw the Black Ram ships come in. I ran back to town and warned everyone. Doden's still missing. I bet he headed to the Black Ram camp. I'm not sure where the Black Ram are hiding, but they must be close. I bet one of those coastal grunts has a map on him. Finally! Reinforcements! Now we'll show these rapscallions what for! A spy? You don't mean Master Doden, do you? Why, you must be mistaken, stranger. Master Doden is the noblest, loyalist, most wonderful guardsman in the service. But he's also a little impulsive. He found a map to the secret hideout, and he decided to teach these pirates a lesson. And now he's been locked in a cage. I was just about to save the little master myself. Really. But now that you're here, you can take the lead. Do be careful. Master Doden's cage is surrounded by Black Ram rookies. Don't let their name fool you. They're real toughies. Be careful. Doden, of course. You're just in time, as I planned. I knew Suljin would send someone for me. He's a big fan, you know. Get warmed up, because we are about to go. That's right, you get to be part of the next step of my grand plan. Right over there, you'll see the Black Ram flagship. Boring, right? No. I've overheard that it's brimming with ammo and explosives. Here's the idea. We aim a cannon at it and let it fly. This beach will light up like a festival in our honor. You may go now. I have utter faith in you, friend. For being such a big help, you may have the honor of lighting the cannon. I've finally ended the Black Ram menace. Lucky you. You get to be part of the explosive finale. Look at them sailing away like cowards! Wow, Guan was upset! <laughs> Where'd he go anyway? You don't know Guan? Right, you're from a mountain or something. He's the leader of the Black Ram in the area. He's pretty tough. Well, it's a good thing you injured him with the explosion. He's usually stronger than a Narlox. He'll be back. He'll be mad. We need to rally everyone and prepare for the retaliation. Let's win stride back before Guan catches up! It's a good thing you have someone smart like me to help you. You win stride when you want to get somewhere far away in a snap. Use M to open the map. You'll see a marker. Press it and hold on tight! <laughs> this isn't easy for amateurs. I'm afraid you just missed Master Doden. His father, Captain Dochen, requested his presence right away. You should join them. I remember the first time I tried wind striding. It was so harrowing I was sick in bed for a whole week. I still have nightmares about it. Well, uh, that's because your wind stride was so short, indeed. It was practically walking distance. I had to return from the Sentinel Coast, which is miles away. You may think you're fine, but you'll feel sick soon. I'm telling you, wind striding isn't for the faint of heart. Would you rather walk everywhere? I think not. Just remember, you must first travel to a place on foot before you can wind stride there. You'll pick it up. You should get going to Captain Dochen's residence. Don't want to keep the masters waiting. Ha! 
Are you all right? I heard you clashed with Guan, captain of the Black Ram. I am sorry for my son's reckless actions. I am in your... I have commissioned scouts from the Guard to look for any sign of Jin Soyeon and her henchmen. I suspect she will be hard to miss. In time, we will find her. I know it has been tough for you dealing with the loss of your master in school. Please treat this village like home. In all the chaos, I haven't had the luxury of introducing you to my family. You've met my adventuresome son, Dodan. I also have an adopted daughter, Nam So Yu, who has been with us for quite some time. She's the one who cared for you in the healing house. Actually, she should be arriving any minute now. That's what I'm talking about. That's not true. What's the matter like this? Huh? Hey, you! what you and Dodan did to Guan. You're so brave. You are far too modest. Everyone's talking about you. In fact, the villagers came together to give you a gift of gratitude. It's only a piece of a soul shield. I know it's not much, but we tried. Please accept this humble gift. You've never used a soul shield? I guess that's good. I was worried you already had a better one. They help you out in all sorts of ways. Strength, defense, and speed. I don't know how soul shields work, but they do help you train and win battles. Soul shields go into your inventory. Press Ctrl plus B to open the soul shield tab within your inventory. Then, drag the soul shield and place it in the equip soul shield slot. You can also equip with right click. Easy. That's it. Let's see how your new soul shield looks. Paired two more pieces, but so much was stolen. I'm very sorry we couldn't find any soul shields with the same name. Soul shields work best in groups of three, five, or eight. They're much more effective in a group than individually. Soul shields don't work unless you're wearing an outfit. The guards figured that out on their own. I didn't ask for details. I hope it'll help a little. I'm sure everyone will be thrilled to see you wearing our soul shield. I know everyone would love to meet you, so please feel at home. I don't think you've met the mayor yet. He asked about you. You should go introduce yourself to him. He's very welcoming and friendly. I'm Daegu, the mayor of Bamboo Village. Now who are you? Right, right. You must be the one everyone's talking about. Wonderful. You're the hero who fired the cannon at the Black Ram. Nice to meet you. I've heard that you'll be with us for a while. Please, make yourself at home. We could use someone like you as we rebuild after the raid. If you can, Please lend a hand around the village. I just remembered. Guak Chil sent for you. He can't get up, but he said he wanted you to meet him at the healing house. You don't know. He kept talking about you. Well, see him when you have a chance. Thanks for your help. Guak Chil has been shouting for you all day. Poor boy. Nice of you to drop by. He's behind you. You dragged him to me during the Black Ram attack. He insisted on thanking you in person for saving his life. He'll be bedridden for days. He may never be the same. Go see him before he tries to get up and walk over here. Those filthy Black Ram. Look what they did. It's you. Thank you so much. Please help me up so I may bow to you properly. I tried, you know. I tried so hard and I ran, but I wasn't fast enough. I wanted to be a hero. I tried so hard and they struck me down. I can't believe so many didn't make it back. I'm sorry. I'll be up soon, I promise you. It's just a scratch, really. I'll be up soon and fighting, you'll see. He may never walk again. Poor Guac Chil. He's been slipping in and out of hallucinations all day. It pains me to see him like this. He's pushed himself so hard ever since the Black Ram killed his sister. Everyone's lost family, but he blames himself for so much. I wish. I could help if I had the right medicine. Unfortunately, the Black Ram raided all our supplies. His bones will set crookedly if I don't get that medicine in time. Everyone's busy with repairs and recovery, so I'm on my own. You're so generous. Just head down to Bamboo Beach. 
All I need is extract from some young sand conches. Thank you. Bring it to me and I'll take care of the rest. Be careful out there. Excellent. This is more than enough. Leave me with Guac Chill and I'll begin treatment. Also, I can't believe how healthy you look. When Dutchin brought you in, I thought you'd be dead within an hour. Remarkable. You really are worthy of the Hong Moon name. Oh, the captain came in earlier. He wants to see you. Well, as I mentioned before, those from the Hong Moon School have no shortage of inner strength. I believe you can handle yourself. You're the one from the Hong Moon School. What an honor. It's great to finally meet you. I'm Gong Samsik. You have a letter for me? Ha, huh, this is normally Doden's job. Oh well, you're a pleasant surprise all the same. This is a supply request. The mayor's in charge of that, not us. I wish I could go find him and hand this over. He and Bumbak went to the abandoned well to investigate the water shortage. There were some black ram in the area, so I told him not to go. What a noble man. Still, he's probably not as strong as he seems to think he is. Unfortunately, we can't spare anyone right now. Would you kindly check up on him before you head back to town? Thanks! So, Captain Dochen sent you. How considerate of him. You've done so much. You didn't have to come all the way out here. Ah, he's worried. I'm not as weak as I look. I'm not worth the trouble. But thank you all the same. What? Oh no! My mistake! I must have the wrong well. These maps are so old. I didn't know this place was full of pirates. There doesn't even seem to be any water in this well. We should get out of here. I'm sorry to have troubled everyone. I'll head back now. Worry not. I'm certain even an old man like me can find his way home. About time! I have an assignment for you in the cemetery. That's right, you're practically in the guard now. What an honor. Yigan is waiting for me at the Foshi Pyres. Tell him I sent you. No, no. Tell him that the captain told me to tell you to go. This is an important mission. You trust me, right? Get going immediately. And don't ask any questions. Goodness, I am so sorry. Please forgive Doden for that. Dodin has asked Papa for a real mission for months, so Dochin ordered him to assist the guard at the Foshi Pyres. He's just too scared. Dodin's always been superstitious. Honestly, I don't see what the big problem is. Papa would be furious if he found out. Knowing Dodin, he'll probably hide until you finish the job. I can't believe Dodin ran away. Please, can you help him with this assignment? He must feel so embarrassed. I don't know the details, but Papa only asks if it's important. Please check on what's happening in the cemetery. Yes? Who are you and what do you want? Really? You're not even from the guard. Does Captain Dochin really think one of the bamboo guard is a spy? I thought he trusted us. No. What? Forget about it. Let's get to it. Since you're already here, I have some work for you. Here's the situation. I was blindsided that someone nabbed the guard's supply of gunpowder. I never even saw the bandit's face. All I remember is that creep Ooms says job and talk to Oom Soji. If he gives you any trouble, call me over and I'll rough him up. Why, hello. I saw you conversing with Egon. Ha! Huh. Could it be true that the big brute is scared of me? Do you really want to know who stole that precious, precious crate? The deal's the same as before. I need a favor first. It's a public service, really. It's as natural as breathing or dying. I just need you to burn a few corpses for me. This is the ultimate charity, because souls are eternal. 
Imagine being stuck in this nightmare of a world forever, suffering. Cremation helps souls move on to the spirit realm where they can rest. Ah, if only we could all be so lucky. You've seen the poor bloody Jiangxi, I'm sure. They suffer. Imagine being stuck like that in this forest, unable to speak or move properly. That's your task. Subdue these poor souls and cremate their bodies. Are you scared? Can you handle the touch and stench of death? What'll it be, warrior? You seem comfortable with killing. Can you handle the cleanup? Well done. You handled those corpses like a professional. You're listening to me closely, aren't you? It's my turn to talk. The bamboo guards were attacked by the dust gathers. They cut, stole, and ran. Isn't that just like the living? I keep my word. Lying is for the living, and I only work with the dead. Go get your revenge. Leave people like me to clean up the rest. You better tell Yigan. I'm certain he's aching to give you an order. Ha! Hope he's paying you well. It's so hard to find reliable help. Nice job. You're fearless, huh? I saw you carry those bodies. It's a shame I have a headache, or I would have done it. More importantly, what did Um Soji tell you? The dust gatters? Oh no. We can't handle them right now. They're part of the Lu Mang Syndicate, a vast criminal organization. Dangerous or not, they still have our gunpowder. We need to rally. Head to our camp northeast of Everdusk and wake everyone up. Gi Bongsa is in charge there. He should help you. Also, we all pitched in together to thank you for your help. You can use these essences on the Wheel of Fate over there. You might win something useful like a weapon or a soul shield. Great to see you. How'd it go? Did you find the gunpowder? Anchor? What? Oh, it's the Black Ram. They call their base the South Anchor, of course. The Black Ram and the Adders couldn't possibly be working together. They've hated each other for years. Maybe the Black Ram stole the gunpowder from the Adders. Ha! It serves those thieves right. Still, this won't be easy. Honestly, this smells like a trap. The Adders could be using us. Will you try to find some clues at the Dusk Adder's stronghold? See if you can find a copy of their orders. I'll meet up with you soon. It's heavily guarded, as always. Are those the orders? No mention of the anchor. Also, this is signed by Kusum. She's one of the two Dusk Adder leaders. Actually, thanks to your efforts, she is the only leader now. Kusum is all that's keeping the Dusk Adders together. If we can't get more information, then at least we can stop them. I've seen what you can do. Really, I think I would only get in the way. I'll meet you back at the camp. Really breeze through that, wow! Did you find out anything about the South Anchor? The South Anchor Southeast Coast. This is good. But Wang Sung's the client? He's fearless. He's Guan's brother, or so they say. He's also a Black Ram lieutenant. But why would he... He must be coming after Bamboo Village. There's no time. I'll head to the village. Can you go to Foshi Pyres and warn Yi Gan for me? Thanks. Why are you back here? I thought you just left. Wang Sung, the Black Ram and the Adders are working together? What are they planning? You seem pretty trustworthy, right? Look, we think there's a spy. We were so careful, we even moved the gunpowder in seek. When I get my hands on who's selling us out, I'll wring his neck. It must be someone in town, maybe even one of the guard. I have to stop Gi Bangsa before he leaks his info to the spy. He means well, but he talks too much when he's nervous. Wait, someone has to warn Ha Jong Wang. I just sent him to the coast, he'll be a sitting duck. We can't lose him. Please find him. He's our only explosives expert. I hate to ask, but I need your help. Aha! It's you again! This is the second time you saved my life. First on the beach, and now here. Fate binds us, stranger. Our destinies converged, and... It was an ambush. Dozens, no, hundreds of those Black Ram thugs came out of nowhere. We all fought valiantly, but when for that fiend Wangsum. Only I managed to avoid capture. Oh yes, Ha Jung Wang is perfectly safe. Just locked up in those cages. You're going to need to find the key. That giant man mountain Wang Sam, of course. They say he lives in the cage just past the cages. What kind of a person chooses to live in a cave, I ask you? Wang Sam is a formidable opponent. I fear even your epic strength won't be enough. We need to use our brain. I've got it. Sleeping pills. Wang Sam's appetite is legendary. If he's not pillaging, he's stuffing his face. Take these sleeping pills and hide them in his dinner. Oh, I'm a genius! 
Then all you have to do is wait for him to pass out and take his key. This plan is foolproof. Not do that right now. Get it together, slacker. Yes, sir. Man, I'm starving. <laughs> the boys are good for something. You? You, uh, rescued our mayor at the abandoned well. A real upstanding citizen. But what are you doing here? Rescue Ha Jung Wang? That twerp does need saving, come to think of it. Ha! As for me, I took out about a dozen black rams. Hmm. Then I head back here to, um, regain my strength. Well, what are you waiting for? Grab the key off that giant lunkhead and then head back out before he wakes up. Me? Well, um,. Not, not, not exactly. Someone's got to keep an eye on Sleepyhead over there, right? It's a dangerous mission, but danger happens to be my middle name. So don't worry. Just go. Of all the cages I've ever been stuck in, that one was the worst. Want to help me get some payback, stranger? I was thinking we could write them a strongly worded letter. Or we could blow this place up with bombs. Tough call, right? While I was locked up, they forced me to build a ton of bombs, but I could build a remote triggering mechanism to set them all off at once. The bombs are all rigged to go. We just need to get the parts for a remote detonator and then blammo! Bam, bam goes the Black Ram. Excellent. Enthusiasm is the best attribute in the lab assistant. Let's do this. Great job rescuing Ha Jung Wang and the other Bamboo Guard members. I hear it was quite the adventure. A message from Bumbok. Poor guy. He barely escaped the anchor when Wungsum woke up. I guess Chin Gun's sleeping pills weren't as potent as he thought. That man is prone to exaggerations. Anyway, glad to see everyone made it back in one piece. Well done. I will report this incident to Captain Dochen and continue my investigation into this spy business. Meanwhile, you're needed in Whalesong Cove. We don't know, but Captain Dochen has asked for every able-bodied warrior in the guard to meet him there. Be careful. My family, back in the village, save them! The sky turns dark, darker than I've ever seen. And then the villagers, they changed. Please 
please, help them. I'm begging you. You're that warrior from Heaven's Reach. I'm glad to see you. Total chaos. I've been in the Guard for over a decade, and I've never seen anything like this. No idea. The eyewitness accounts we've been getting from the survivors don't make much sense. They say a strange fog erupted from the sands and started turning people into those things. All the villagers ran for their lives. Well, everyone except for some weird tall woman who disappeared into a beach cave. I guess so, yeah. Tall, pale, black outfit, black hair. What? Master? I fear she may have had a hand in all this, but our first priority is escaping this cave. Use the flamethrower. Let's cut a path with fire. The cave harbors a conduit between realms, but we have closed it for now. Did you pursue Jin Sayun all the way here? His latest dealings with the Black Ram have been troubling. It all points to a spy in our midst. I must hurry ahead to the Tanjay Kilns in Gloomdross Forest. Conflict seems to be erupting on every front. Remember, Jia, continue to train and recover your strength. Only then can you hope to take on Jin Suyun. Ah, there you are. I was about to send a message. The Bamboo Guard has discovered traces of Jin Suyun. We, Wan Hong, will brief you on the latest. I must hurry back to Bamboo Village to address this spy issue. More and more, I believe our goals are closely aligned, Jian. Continue assisting the Bamboo Guard against the Black Ram. Jin Soyun will be handled in turn. The Captain says this Jin Soyun person may be responsible for dark crimes here in the Gloomdross. We've discovered several corpses infused with a dark energy. The bodies have been mangled, but we assume they are members of the Char Coalition. Really? Okay then. The Captain did say you were enthusiastic. Oh, by the way, if you find any clues, show them to the Char Coalition representatives first. They'll be able to identify the victims, and they may know something about your Jin Soyun person. Make contact with Paso. <laughs> If you're looking to place an order for charcoal, just mosey on up and talk to the head foreman. He'll get you situated. This badge? Where... where did you get this? This badge belonged to my brother, Basso. He and some other coalition boys left to harvest the Dream Drift a couple weeks back and never came home. I knew something awful must have happened. Basso's never gone more than three days without checking in. But you're telling me the whole crew got turned into those things? That's too horrible for words. But you? You brought peace to my brother and the others. I'm in your debt, friend. Anything you need, I'm your man. Just say the word. Jin Soyun? Never heard of the lass. Wait, hold on. She dress all in black, real mean looking tall drink of water. Strange circus folk type entourage. Some of the boys have spotted her snooping around the forest for the past several weeks. You don't think she's the reason these monsters in the dream dress started acting up? North. Whenever they'd finish up with their creepy weirdness, they'd pack up and fly north. Every single time. Oh, there you are. What have you learned about Jin Sa-yun from the Char Coalition? North, eh? Hmm, if I was a betting man, I'd say that means Jin Sa-yun is in the Cinderlands Desert. We are not leaving. The Cinderlands Desert is too large to search alone. I have several spies in that region. They'll keep an eye out for this lady in black, Jin Sa-yun. In the meantime, you should stay right here in the Gloomdrost. Jin Sa-yun made frequent trips here, yes? It's possible she may return. Do not lose hope. It may take days or even weeks to find a new lead on Jin Sa-yun. Be patient. Excellent. I will look into those Cinderlands contacts. Good luck. I'll check back in a few days. Jira, today is your lucky day. I think we can help one another with our respective problems. You are buddies with the local charcoal kingpins, and I happen to know a source a lot closer than the Cinderlands who can help you find Jin Sa-yun. You remember those bombs I made at the Black Ram South Anchor? The giant explosion in the jungle? Pretty impressive, right? Wrong! They were weak! Terrible! Awful! No good! Pathetic! That explosion should have singed off our eyebrows! 
It didn't. Why? The bombs didn't contain flame grass powder. Trouble is, there's only one group in the world that knows the secret of refining flame grass. The Char Coalition. And well, they don't like me very much. But I hear they love you. You get me some flame grass powder and I'll put you in contact with my buddy, Pundehe, in Jade Stone Village. If Jin Soyun passed through there, Pundehe would know. You can find flame grass all over the Gloomdross. Just pick some and ask the Char Coalition folks to refine it for you. Simple, simple, simple. Even if they refuse, I'll still put you in touch with Pundehe because I'm a nice guy. You have nothing to lose. Come on. It's been too long since I've blown something up. I need this. I'm surprised you're still in the dross. I thought you had a mean lady to go settle up with. Whatever you need, you're practically one of us now. Just name it. Oh, flame grass powder. You sure, friend? That stuff is super dangerous. Ha Drung Wang is a walking fire hazard. We blackballed him years ago after he almost burnt down the village. Is the flame grass powder necessary for your mission? Okie dokie, I trust you. Just make sure that firebug is nowhere near our forest when he goes and blows himself up, you hear? One very small sack of flame grass powder coming up. We'll deliver it to Ha Jung Wang ourselves and give him a safety lecture he'll probably just ignore. Good luck. I'm Pandehe. Ha Jung Wang told me to assist you in any way I can in your search for Jin Sun. Yes, I do believe I have an idea where your lady in black may be. She was last seen heading towards Songshu Isle to the south. Unfortunately, the bridge leading to the island has collapsed. We're not sure who's to blame. Could be the Black Ram Marauders, the Dusk Adder Gang, or even your Jin Soyun. Luckily, there's another way onto the island. A strong warrior like you could use the Dragon Pulse to get there. Wow, you must really be out of it. Dragon Pulses are pathways of energy connecting locations all over the world. Dragon Pulses allow quick, easy travel over long distances. Well, it's only quick and easy if you know how. You know what? Old Man Cho is an expert in riding Dragon Pulses, and he lives right here in town. He'd be able to teach you. Fair warning, though. He's a bit of a nutcase. And cranky and rude. But other than that, he's a great guy. Not another one. I'm sick of you punks bugging me about the Dragon Pulses. I'm not a charity, you know. Does it say Punk Kid Charity over my door? Does it? Stop giving me those puppy dog eyes. Hmm. No offense there, little warrior. But you look like hell. Honestly, you look like a dark realm reject. For one, your chi is flowing about as well as a frozen lake. Boy, you're plugged up, ain't ya? Prancing ploggers. You're a walking disaster. But I suppose you're not entirely a lost cause. You're at least interesting, I'll give you that. That said, I'm not even sure you could ride an iron ox, let alone ride a dragon pulse. You're gonna have to prove it. Listen up, cause I'm only gonna say this once. See that pile of firewood over yonder? Bring it here and add it to the pile I already got going. When you're done with that, go to the lake, fetch me some water, and pour that water into my jar. Got it? I know this is advanced stuff for somebody with your level of smarts. What are you waiting for? Lit with your legs and not with your back and all that. And no cheating! I got better eyes than you might think. <laughs> Congratulations! You can do menial chores. Your parents would be proud. Actually, though, considering you have the mark of the Black Rose, I'm almost impressed. Had a run-in with Jin Sayan, did you? One thing at a time, rookie. First, we need to make sure you don't drop dead anytime soon. Your chi needs a hard shove to get going again. Quiet, fool! You think riding the pulses is a picnic? The energy will rip your heart out and show it to you before you die! In other words, with your chi all twisted like it is now, riding a pulse would likely be a one-way ticket to the spirit realm. But today's your lucky day. You heard of the Eight Masters? They're in the area. 
and they could set you on the path to enlightenment. At least enough to jumpstart your chi. As for where they are, hmm. Well, I'm old, you see, and very forgetful. A drink might jog my memory. A nice fat glass of the hard stuff. Yes, that would do nicely. South of Jade Stone is a good-sized cave. Cool and damp. The perfect place for my beautiful liquor bottles. Some numbskull wannabe pupil of mine went to fetch me a bottle, but he never came back. If he's in there drinking my liquor, I want you to murder him. Well, maybe not murder. Rough him up a little. At most, break an arm or something. In any case, get the liquor from that plog brain, and then meet me at the Jade Stone Tavern. Go, go! And the liquor. And vintage stock, too. It's been so long. Come home to Papa. The eight masters? Who? Oh, those eight masters. They're around here somewhere. Masters? Masters. This old brain is still not operating at full power. After all, you need something to eat when you're drinking, right? Or else you'll get lightheaded. Oh, I know where they are. No, no, wait. I lost it. I need food. Get me some food. A man works up an appetite dealing with knuckleheads like yourself. That's the spirit. Talk to old man Jum. Face like a leather gauntlet. Can't miss him. He'll know where to rustle up some chow to pair with this fine liquor. Wasting your time? If you don't like it, take a hike off a cliff, why don't you? Leave an old man to starve. See if I care. Good. Good. My mouth is watering already. When you get the food, bring it on over to Croker Lagoon. My vacation home, you know. <laughs> well, well. You fetch food like a true champion. I'm going to enjoy this. Now I know what you want in exchange. I know how the world works. I happen to have brought you very near to the place where the Eight Masters are wandering. See that hole in the rock up yonder? Locals call it the Cave of Mastery. You'll find the Masters in there. That said, the cave isn't exactly hospitable. You'll need a guide, and it certainly won't be me. I have a meal to attend to, so keep your eyeballs peeled. Greetings. I am Hansu, and I will be your guide in this Cave of Mastery. Old Man Cho said you would come. He believes you are the one the Eight Masters have been searching for. The Chosen One. Maybe I've said too much. If you are ready, we should move. Be careful and stay close to me. One false move here could prove deadly. Watch yourself, John. Since when has his divination ever been right? Let's just go. The divination is accurate. The one will come soon. I know it. Hmm. Madden, you've been saying that for a week now. Just wait! The prophecy is true. There will come a warrior, inflicted with a scar of the Black Rose. <sighs> Another dead end. Please, wait! The divination! Enough! This is pointless. We waited a whole week on this. Is some hero going to fall out of the sky now? Uh. Oh? Huh? What? This is the one? <laughs> Looks shabby. This is the one! Huh, Madden actually did it. Ah, what do you know? Enough talk. Let's get right down to it.
Did it not work? It's not that. The body can endure no more. The Black Rose runs too deep. Then what now? We will see. First a trip to Dragon Scale would do. Already? But... We have no time to lose. Well, what doesn't kill you does make you stronger. Or so they say. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows? You can now ride Dragon Pulses. Let's see if you have what it takes to be a hero. Prancing Ploggles, you're looking less tired. Still plenty weird looking, but at least less tired. I'd say you're well enough to ride the Dragon Pulses. There's a score of Dragon Pulses around here. I lose track of them all. Hop on one and give it a whirl. Even if you mess up, it probably won't kill you. Probably. That'd be helpful to know, wouldn't it? <laughs> you see that pillar of light over yonder? It's dragon juice, and the dragon pulse is where it comes out of the ground. Stand in front of the stream and press the F key. Pretty simple, huh? You should have all you need now. Buna will guide you. Don't let a little kid beat you, though. That'd just be embarrassing. slower than my brother. Oh, by the way, make sure to tell Grandpa Cho that I was a super amazing guide. He says I'm too immature A party for member my has age, been defeated. Whatever that means. Come here. Yes, I'd recognize Jin Sayun's handiwork anywhere. She gave you the mark of the Black Rose. How'd you get so unlucky to bump into her? Jin Soya killed Master Hong Sokyeon. Oh my. She's knocking off the four guardians one by one. Can't accuse her of being inefficient. That snake in the grass. Hong, the Earthbreaker. Chi Wan, the Righteous Blade. Mushin, the Divine Fist. And Ixalan, the Realm Walker. These are the ageless martial arts masters known as the four guardians. They banded together time and time to beat back the Dark Lord and save the world from darkness. From that point on, they were appointed by the Divine Realm to protect this world from another attack. Hong especially was one tough son of a gun. Great singing voice too. Anyway, Dark Chi has been seeping out of the ground for a while now. And when the Dark Lord's servant Jin Saoyeon started making a fuss, I figured the Four Guardians would rise up to stamp it out. They never showed though. It got to a point where the warring factions put aside their differences to form the Eight Masters, their task Find the four guardians, or what's left of them. I left the world of warriors, so I've been helping little on the sidelines. But heck, let one of them explain the particulars. They get paid more than I do. <laughs> So how was meeting the Council of Eight? You can learn much from them. They represent some of the strongest champions in the Earthen Realm. Well, I think that's enough talk for now. Are you ready for the Gate of Heaven? The goal is simple. Defeat all enemies awaiting in the gate before they kill you. Best of luck. I 
associate Hansu speaks highly of you. He says you have much potential, but do not let your guard down. Behind me lies the gate of hell, the final test. As with the previous gate, destroy all enemies you encounter before they destroy you. Do not disappoint us. So, feeling good? Feeling prepared? Did the eight masters do their thing? Good. Now, let me give you a couple tips. The higher your level, the more skills you can learn. And if I haven't excited you yet, you need to find a different career. That's the way, little warrior. Use your skills wisely and focus on your training. Now don't get too big ahead about all this. You don't yet have the strength to master all your skills. The fact that you can string two attacks together is a miracle by itself. You must continue following the path of enlightenment to attain true mastery over the martial arts. Let's see if we can't purge a little more of that dark chi from you, hmm? There's a man down the cliff named Okukchun. Who knows a little about medicine? Tell him Cho sent you, and tell him to give you some of his herbs and mushrooms and whatnot. They might make you feel better. In any case, I guess they can't hurt. On second thought, I think he gathers poisonous mushrooms. But hey, eat them anyway. This'll be a good test. If the Black Rose? I don't know what any of that nonsense is. I'm just here to poison you with mushrooms. Don't freak out on me. Poisonous mushrooms are the best cure for corrupted chi. Best way to treat a poison is with more poison. Really, look it up. Here's the embarrassing part. You got here so fast I haven't had time to pick all the mushrooms you're gonna need. It'll go faster if you help. Mushrooms all over the place down here. Just follow your nose. The ones we're looking for are gonna have a very distinct odor. Oh, wow, that's more than enough. Great job. Okay, you're gonna wanna eat them raw. Cooking them just makes them more bitter and, uh... Deadly, so don't do that. By the way, some messenger from Jaystone Village came by looking for you. She said something bad was going down. It sounded urgent. I told her you'd probably be cramped up from the poisonous mushrooms you just ate, but she said for you to rush there immediately. I was going to see the situation for myself, but it sounds like a pretty nasty fight is going down. Make sure you're prepared before heading to the village. Oh, and if Old Man Cho is still alive when you get there, tell him that I'm done with this pro bono stuff. If he wants to expose a student to horrific toxins, he's gotta pay up first. Let me know if you start seeing spots. Spots are bad. Glad to see you're in one piece. I know you were planning on heading south, but we could really use your help. It happened last night. A horde of revenants and Jiangxi came out of nowhere and killed the valley patrols. We had almost no warning. What's more, our guards have found Black Ram emblems among the undead corpses. If these abominations were once Black Ram marauders, where did they all come from? And why would the Black Ram send its own dead against us? I shudder at the thought. And if so, this problem is much larger than Jade Stone Village. But by the mercy of the gods, at least Grave Watcher Mo Young Jung has come to try and make sense of all this. For now, warrior, please help the villagers in the fight against the undead. And if you find any other clues as to their origin, seek me out again. Go <laughs> This is bad. Grave Watcher Mo Young has gone missing. Have you found any indication of where these things came from? By the gods, I recognize this. It bears the mark of Nakuro. Mo Young suspected that the Dark Shaman might be the cause of the undead attack, 
Last time I saw such a charm, I was staring at Nakuru's corpse in Moonshade Cemetery. This is impossible, but if the Dark Shaman has indeed risen, he must be nearby. The question is where? Hmm. Warrior, we must stop Nakuru and find out how the Black Ram are connected. The very survival of Jadestone is at stake. no trace of Nakuro in the lakeside cache. Did you find him? I suspected you managed to handle him, seeing how the undead left as quickly as they had come. You've done well. And fortunately, I did manage to capture one of the Black Ram hiding in the cache. He had a letter with some very disturbing contents. Dear Nakuro, your reputation precedes you. As you requested, I can provide as many corpses as you require. In return, I only ask that you make life very difficult for Jadestone Village and its guards. Your timing will be crucial as I have something very special planned. And to start things off right, consider the bearer of this letter as the first corpse in our agreement. Signed, Captain Guan. The messenger must have gotten cold feet. That or he managed to escape. In any case, Captain Dochen must know about this. I assume you've learned a thing or two from Old Man Cho, at least enough to cross the ruined bridge to Songshu Isle. I know you're investigating the Lady in Black but it's imperative that this news reach the guard in Songshu. While you're pursuing your target, please seek out guard Buyong and tell her what has happened here. Welcome, warrior. Pandehe sent me a pigeon saying I should expect you. Are you caught up on the situation? It's awful. Pandehe had that letter from Guan. Did you read it? Nekuro is planning an attack on Jadestone Village. That, and the letter's odd. Consider this. The guard blankets this area. No one can get past. But if that's true, then how did the Black Ram get the letter through? Maybe they sent the letter via carrier pigeon or crow. Sure, that's possible. Personally, I think it was a spy. On my way, I heard Bumbok crying about his 17 wives or some nonsense. When I ran over, he was being pummeled by several dusk adders. After a few blows, I chased the rest of the adders away. They ran and left with Bumbok's bag. I can't believe I didn't notice. It turns out Bumbok was delivering a vital letter from the captain. I'm checking here. Can you look around the adder's nest? That letter might be right under our noses. Oh, it's you! Thank the gods! This place is just absolutely dreadful, and then you arrive like a bright, shining ray of light in the... Following Master Doden, of course. Why else would I be anywhere near a Lumang Syndicate hideout? Master Doden was ashamed of his behavior in Moonshade Cemetery. So he set out to redeem himself in his father's eyes. He heard that the Lumang Dusk Adders were up to no good on this island, and bravely decided he'd take them all out by himself. He fought with tenacity and honor, but was quickly captured by a century. No, wait! Ten centuries! Oh, you should have seen the skirmish. It was frightful. Please, help little Master Doden. I'm sure he's plotting his escape from those cages as we speak, but your assistance would be appreciated. There we go! How's my favorite assistant doing? You come all the way here to find me? Me? What are you even doing here? I'm here to crush those thieving bastards! Now enough insubordination and more action! Let's go! Did you see her moves? She was brutal! I haven't seen that kind of rage since we put Boo Young on mushroom duty. Once again, I've saved your life, but don't thank me. Instead, let's head out. There's much more to do. I'll leave with Chen Gun first. How about you stay behind a while? Oh, and uh, don't tell anyone I was down here. My father would kill me. This is the bag? It reeks! Gods, I'm tearing up! Remind me to burn this or throw it in the river when we're done. Let's see, a sock, Bumbox dog tag. No, how old is this dumpling? Where's the letter? I can't believe this, Bumbox! So we don't have the letter? Great, if the adders took it, then it could be in Black Ram hands by now. 
If the Black Ram know our plan, they'll launch an immediate attack. We can't let them catch Bamboo Village off guard. But we can't rule out that the letter might be somewhere around here. I'll search the area. How about you go to Stillbrook Monastery for me? Catch Sung Jin Ha up on everything. I'll be there as soon as I find that letter. You. Who are you? Wait. You're the warrior sent by Captain Dochen, aren't you? Well, between Jade Stone being attacked and now this traitor in our ranks, I have enough on my plate without having to babysit you. You better not be wasting my time. Boo Young, that name carries weight around here. Hmm. So she'll come to Stillbrook as soon as she's located Captain Dochen's letter. That's strange. I sent Bombak to Song Shu Pavilion to summon Boo Young. Why would he be carrying Captain Dochen's letter? Well, no matter. One more mess among many. Anyway, if Bu Young says you're okay, you're okay. Just don't screw up. The first priority is ferreting out this Black Ram spy. Our planned assault on the Black Ram South Fleet is too important to be put at risk. Can we count on you to find the traitor? Good. I have eyes and ears on Stillbrook Monastery, but there are still people who might have good info. Don Don, for one. The child taken in by the Stillbrook monks. He was a friendly kid, but something changed. He seemed scared for whatever reason. Maybe he's seen something. Talk to him and find out why. Oh, please! I didn't do it! I didn't do anything! Please, don't hurt me! Help me? But you can't. The bad guys are too strong. You know you look pretty strong, too. Are you stronger than the Dusk Adders or even the Black Ram? The Dusk Adder named Wuma. Well, he's not giving me trouble, but people in the village don't like him. You should beat him up. Beat if you beat Wuma, then I'll know you're strong. But you have to bring back proof. Wow! I recognize that! It's Wuma's bandana! You really did beat him up, didn't you? Gosh. Well, maybe you're stronger than Wuma, but I bet you're not stronger than the real bad guy. He's much scarier. He's scarier than the top dog of the clay pot kennels and all the pot dogs put together! If you're brave enough to sneak into the kennels and bring the special mushrooms that only grow there, then I'll know you're the greatest warrior on Songshu, and then I know I can trust you! Hmm, awesome! These mushrooms are perfect! You could eat them raw, put them in a stew, roast them... Okay... Sheesh... Well, it was a few nights ago. I was on my way to the outhouse, and right there in the dark, I saw a bamboo guard using a carrier crow to send a letter. And I knew it was wrong, because only the black ram uses crows to send letters. I tried to sneak away, but the man caught me. He grabbed my throat. Then he said that if I told anybody, he would kill me. Bumbuck! I swear! It was Uncle Bumbuck! You are a great warrior, aren't you? Look alive, warrior. Captain Dochen is here looking for you. Did you learn anything from the monk child? What? Bumbuck? Mushin's fist! Only he would be so foolish to dare betray the guard. We'll find Bumbuck if we have to turn over every rock on this island. Hurry and tell Captain Dochen the news. Go! We have no time to waste! We've been on a spy hunt, or so I've heard. Anything to report? Bumbuck? When we battled Wang Sam, I knew something didn't fit, but it is still difficult to hear. We must find Bumbuck. Our war with the Black Ram is balanced on the edge of a knife. We cannot allow Bumbuck to tip that balance. The Dusk Adder activities and the recent attacks are connected, and Bumbuck might be the key to solving it all. If he's gone into hiding, he would stay close to the Black Ram fleet. I suggest you investigate the lair of the Ute to the southwest. The Ute have long been in league with the Black Ram. I'm worth more to you alive than dead! I swear it! I'll tell you about Jade Stone! I'll tell you anything! No, 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 wait! Don't you see that I'm a victim here too? I was forced to work for the Black Ram! They have my wife and kids! I'm not lying! I swear I'm not! My wife, um, Chris Melba, and my 17 kids, they're sick! All 17 of them! Dying! I swear, this is the last time I helped the Black Ram! The very last! I've learned my lesson! I'm just a pawn, you know! I'm scum! I'm not the guy you want! I've... I've... I've changed! You're giving me a second chance, and I, I won't blow it! Right? Right? A second chance? Sure, sure. You know why Guan is so crazy about Bamboo Village, for instance? 
It isn't for the pillaging. <laughs> the real reason is Nam So Yu. The Black Ram attacked Jadestone just to distract the Bamboo Guard. What Guan really wants to do is to swipe Nam So Yu right from under the Guard's noses. Jian, Black Ram have taken Nam So Yu from Bamboo Village. Fiends, take me! I should have been there! They made fools of the guard, a fool of me. But how did they know when I would leave Bamboo Village? How? There is only one explanation. There has to be a second spy. Someone who knew exactly when I would be away from the village. I must return immediately. Ben Yao will tell you what he knows. I'm continue the fight, Yao. It came out of nowhere. The Black Ram knew our patrol routes. They knew when we changed shifts. Before we even knew what was happening, they had taken Nam So Yu. I remember one of the men calling him Lieutenant Wongsum. He was huge. Really? Master Doden tried to stop him, but Wongsum picked him up and slammed him down, hurting him badly. Oh, this is a nightmare. I'm sorry. You're right. We have to focus on Lady Nam So Yu's rescue. Captain Dochen sent an advance force to Sentinel Coast ahead of the planned invasion of the South Fleet. We'll drive the Black Ram off for good. Talk with our forces on the Sentinel Coast and see what assistance they require. You could make all the difference. I was told to expect you, warrior. A pigeon just arrived with the news about Lady Nam So Yu. Things are getting out of control. Where is Captain Dochen? Understandable, but that leaves us in a bad spot. The assault on the Black Ram South Fleet would be impossible as it is. And now with that traitor Bumbach on the loose, months of preparation could be ruined. Who knows what other secrets he's given away? One thing's for sure, we can't attack unless we know exactly where Nam So Yu is being held. We can't risk her being hurt, or worse. I'm glad I can count on you. My plan to find Nam So Yu is to use the Black Ram's communication system against them. We know that the Black Ram South Fleet often uses carrier crows to send messages to the marauders on the Sentinel Coast. Make your way to the carrier post near the coast and retrieve the latest message from the Leg of the Crow. It's a long shot, but it could tell us more about Nam So Yu's location. If we intercept that letter, we'll know just where Nam So Yu is inside the South Fleet compound. Got it? is better than we could have hoped. This contains a guard schedule for the place they've taken Nam So Yu. Lady Nam So Yu is inside the flagship of the Black Ram South Fleet. Now we know her precise location. I will immediately send word to Captain Dochen. For now, my orders are to maintain position and wait for the captain and for reinforcements. Outside of that, our immediate need is weapons. We've commissioned the forge keepers for swords, but damned if they can make their delivery deadlines. Apparently, some forge keeper higher up has arrived on the coast. Bojimu, his name is. Find him, and give him hell about those weapons. Who are you? Are you with the Bamboo Guard? I'm sick of you. So Munbu says the Forge Keepers are not delivering what they promised. Nonsense. We delivered the swords all right, but apparently the blades aren't up to the Bamboo Guard's so-called high standards. They want our blades to cut through the hide of Stonebiter brutes. <laughs> what ordinary blade does that, may I ask? We were forced to make the blades all over again, using blue iron from the Silver Frost Mountains. Oh, but don't worry, I'm adding a hefty premium to the cost. Now I just need to prove these new swords can cut through Stonebiter hide. This place is thick with the beasts, but I'm not exactly a blade master. So if you're looking for something useful to do, fetch me some chunks of Stonebiter hide for our final test. Well, what are you waiting for? You're back, and I see you have plenty of test samples. Excellent. This will be enough to prove that Forgekeeper blades have no equal. You may want to return to Somunbu at the outpost. A messenger of his was yelling about something or other. I forget what. Did you take care of the weapons? Good. But unfortunately, we have an even bigger headache. Dodan has snuck into the South Fleet. He's trying to rescue Nam So Yu. Dodan thinks he can order guards around and play hero just because he's Dochen's boy. Now our entire assault might be in jeopardy, not to mention Lady Nam So Yu's safety. We've run out of time. I have to rally our forces here and prepare the attack. In the meantime, infiltrate the Black Ram South Fleet. You must ensure Lady Nam So Yu's safety and hopefully prevent Dodan and his guards from ruining everything we've planned. 
I'm not really a pirate. It's me, your faithful friend Chengun. I'm part of the rescue party for Lady Namsuyu. I know I'm not the big, strong, heroic type, but there's a very good reason for my being here. Really, Master Doden is just so worried about his beloved sister. I couldn't bear to see him in that state, so I joined the team to bring her home. The daring rescue, uh, hasn't gone as well as we hoped. They're keeping Lady Namsuyu in that ship over there. Oh, it's just terrible. I can hear her terrified screams from here. Please, champion, you must save me! Uh, her! Save her! I will faithfully cover this strategic rear position, as usual. Hurry! There's no telling what those brutes will do to that poor girl! I thought that if I played along with these monsters, they'd spare me. If people thought I was... People would say things about me. Please don't tell Papa. I'm his world. This would break his heart. Wait, behind you, what's that? Uh, something moved. She really does resemble her mother. <laughs> you really think you're a match for me? Remember something like that. She didn't pass this way. Don't worry. In my experience, horrible villains have a way of popping back up. I'll be on the lookout for this lady in snakeskin. You should head on back to town. I'm going to stay here with the guard and mop things up. Oh, one more thing. In her haste to return home, Lady Nam so you dropped this letter. Can you bring it back to her? It looks important. If I was Lady Nam so you, I'd be at the healing house. Look for her there. Oh, and do Windstride back. It's a long hike, Jian. What's wrong? We've got our share. Let's go. <laughs> With loot like this, we're set for life. We? Are you trying to make me laugh, old man? <laughs> what makes you think I'd marry a dirty geezer like you? What, you ungrateful wench? I partnered with a bunch of marauding <laughs> pirates just for you. Oh, you poor baby. Stay away hey, from so me. Wait. Oh. 
My goodness, don't sneak up on me like that. Are you even allowed in here? Hmm, what's that you have there? A sealed letter? It looks official. Better let me have a look at it. Listen, you, I'm the mayor of this town, and everything that happens in this town is my business. Let's get that straight right now. Huh? What was that? What's wrong? Are you deaf? They're sounding the alarm. I tell you, yes. Don't worry. But hey! <gasps> Cannons onto the beach. They're going to destroy the whole town. Go to the coast and destroy the cannons before it's too late. And send as many black ram as you can to their graves. Thank you. We've delayed them for now, but many black ram have already invaded the village. Please, you must protect the inn. Those who couldn't flee have taken shelter there. Go! The village has become a battlefield. Save as many as you can. Please hurry and try to hold them off. against that brute. They're in Dochen's house. Go, hurry! Oh, Master Doden! It's not working! The Dan 
will live, but he is badly injured. These black rams have exacted a heavy price. Guan must be brought to just go. Find Guan and save Namsu. She is more important than you know. There is no time. Save her at any cost. A letter for Namsu. Hmm. Thank you. Go to those. <laughs> Love you. Yeah. So you. Huh? You're late. Maybe I should have gone with the geezer after all. Oh, don't be like that, so you. Why would I leave you behind? <laughs> <laughs> after all, I couldn't have done this without you. And now I'll have that big promotion for sure. What do you think of your boyfriend being captain of the whole fleet soon? <laughs> Don't forget, you promised me the life of an empress. <laughs> Honey, that loser over there knows too much about our plans. You know what to do, don't you? <laughs> of course. You know I'd do anything for my girl. <laughs> Are you hurt? <sighs> Miss Nam Soyu, the information and distraction we'll you play provided a key role in ambushing your father and the bamboo guard. Guan is preparing to launch a full scale attack. You have done the Black Ram a great service. Best, Bombak. A friend of mine, General Han Siran, has heard news in the Cinderlands. Regarding a woman and a man in the Hong Moon uniform, it must be the traitor you spoke of. I believe you can guess who the woman may be. I wish I could go with you to avenge Master Hong. But as you know, I cannot leave the village right now. You go ahead and look for Jin Zayun. Go to Oakshade Village and talk to Han Siran. He will help you. If you find Jin Seiyun, contact me immediately. Remember, you and I are the last of the Hong Moon clan. Carry on our name. stray cinder from the fire. It's horrible. I am, all thanks to your heroism and bravery. If only you could have arrived in time to save the little master from harm. You have done this village and me a great service. I owe you my life. I know. I shall follow you to the ends of the realm to pay back this life debt. Are you sure? 
I mean, that would be easier. And my leg does still hurt ever so much. Be careful, brave champion. The Cinderland Desert is treacherous. Captain Dochin has secured transportation for you. Just see Andumo near the captain's house. I've never been good at goodbyes. You'd better leave now before I completely lose my composure. Don't you forget about us! I promised myself I wouldn't cry!